crypto jacking. Have you heard of this technique where hackers can use your computer or your device to mine crypto without you really knowing about it and sending it back to themselves? Well, if you want to learn what this is, how to prevent it, and what you need to know, then I'm Kevin from Bitcoin for Beginners. You just need to sit back, relax, and keep on watching. So what is crypto jacking? This is the unauthorized use of your device or other people's devices to mine cryptocurrencies. And this is the favorite way for cyber criminals to mine and get their hands on some coins if they don't want to sign up their own mining rigs and mine it legitimately. Basically, malware is used and designed to be imperceptible so you can't notice it. And hence, it only uses a little bit of your device's resources. So they can ideally exploit your device's resources to mine coins for them for a long time before you catch it, if you ever catch it. So how does this work, right? There are two main ways for them to do this, depending on how the malware is designed. First, they can do so by sending a link to your email or text message. And then when you click on it, they download a mining script onto your device. It runs in the background and mines crypto using your like CPU or GPU, for example and sends it back to the hacker's address that they control. Number two is a little bit more common, is web-based crypto jacking. And this one, they inject scripts into websites that they've kind of taken over or exploited or online ads. So when people like you and I visit these sites, the script executes automatically without being downloaded to your computer or your mobile phone. This is less aggressive as you can imagine because you're only mining for them as long as you're on the compromised site. So which coins are commonly involved with crypto jacking? Any proof of work coin that requires you to constantly solve these proof of work puzzles and mine for them, per se. So Bitcoin, Litecoin, Monero, for example. But they prefer ones, obviously, that are easier to mine, that you can do so with CPUs and GPUs. That's why Monero, or XMR, is super popular for crypto jackers. It's also untraceable, so that's a bonus for them. It's harder for them to get caught by the authorities if they mine and take it in Monero form. Now, how does this compare to ransomware? Because we've heard of ransomware with cryptocurrency attacks too, right? They both give the hacker financial gain, but ransomware is much more noticeable because it locks you out of your computer and you can't access it unless you send them Bitcoin to their address, right? Crypto jacking, on the other hand, may go undetected for quite a while. Also, crypto jacking is less risky because you can just exploit a little bit on each device, but do it at a huge scale, like millions of visitors or millions of affected devices, as opposed to just ransomwareing like 10 people per se. So ransomware, you also have much more contact between the attacker and the victim, which is risky if the hacker isn't careful and they leave some identifiable information for the authorities to catch them with later. So how to detect crypto jacking on your own device or when you're visiting websites. Well, do you notice a decrease in performance or maybe a lack in execution? That may be a sign. Also, just stay updated about the latest crypto jacking news in case there are new techniques that pop up, just so you know what to look out for. Keep an eye out for your device overheating. If you have a CPU usage monitor, that may be helpful too as you visit different websites. Also, just utilize antivirus and anti-malware software. Those are helpful to catch some of these as well. How to prevent it. One, be aware of how it works. That's why watching this video and other ones reading articles similar to this is helpful. Install extensions and tools that block this, like extensions on your browser like MinerBlock, NoCoin, and so forth. They also monitor and block related scripts. Use a privacy browser like the Brave browser that can block ads automatically. Try not to download too many random extensions because those have been known to compromise crypto wallets too. Be vigilant. Don't click on random shady links sent to you and get constant malware and virus scanners done on your devices. So what are some of my final thoughts about this topic? It's very easy for this to go unnoticed. It may be affecting you in some websites that you visit or even on your devices currently. That's why you should take preventative measures as well. If left unchecked, you could see degrading performances on your devices and you may as well replace your device without actually needing to. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was informative. As always, you can support us by smashing the like button, subscribing to catch future informative content made for beginners like you guys, 
or intermediate too. Once again, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think down below and I will catch you guys next time.